All right, so we are still on describing setting and store events. And um, I want to give a little assessment to see where we're at. Um, we've been working on it for a little over a week. So I want to see how we are doing with this, um, what needs to come next, those kind of things. Um, so just try your best. It is an assessment, so it will be read to you. The questions will be read and the answer choices as well. Okay, so King Lear. King Lear was old and tired. He was aware of the business of his kingdom. He wished only to end his days quietly near his three daughters. Lear called his three daughters together and told them that he proposed to divide his kingdom between them. But first, said he, I should like to know how much you love me. Ganerol, who was a really very wicked woman and did not love her father at all, said she loved him more than words could say. She loved him dearer than eyesight, space, or liberty, more than life, grace, health, beauty, and, and honor. I love you as much as my sister and more, professed Reagan. I care for nothing but my father's love. Lear was very much pleased and turned to his youngest daughter, Cordelia. Now our joy, though, last, not least, he said, the best part of my, of my kingdom I have kept for you. What can you say? Nothing, my lord, said Cordelia. Nothing can come of nothing. Speak again, said the king. And Cordelia answered, I love your majesty according to my duty. No more, no less. This she said, because she was disgusted with the way in which her sisters professed love, when they really had not even a sense of duty to their old father. I am your daughter, she went on. You have brought me up and loved me. I... I return you those duties back as are right and fit, obey you, love you, and most honor you. Lear, who loved Cordelia best, had wished her to make more extravagant professions of love than her sisters. Go, he said, be forever a stranger to my heart and me. He divided the kingdom between Goneril and Regan and told them that he should only keep a hundred knights at arm and would live with his daughters by turns. The king now went to, stay, went to stay with his daughter, Ganeril, who had got everything from her father that he had to give. She now began to grudge even the hundred nights that he had reserved for himself. She was harsh and undutiful to him. Her servants either refused to obey his orders or pretended they did not hear him. Ganeril said, Lear, I will not trouble you further, yet I have left another daughter. So he set out with his followers for the castle of Regan, but she, who had formerly outdone her sister in professions of attachment to the king, now seemed to outdo her in undutiful conduct. She said that 50 knights were too many to wait on him, and Ganeril said five were too many since her, servants, since her servants could wait on him. Then when Lear saw that what they really wanted was to drive him away, he left them. It was a wild and stormy night, and he wandered about the heath half mad with misery. Here, Cordelia and her friends found poor King Lear wandering about the fields, wearing a crown of nettles and weeds. She brought him back and fed and clothed him. Then Cordelia came to him and kissed him. You must bear with me, said Lear. Forget and forgive. I am old and foolish. And now he went at last, which of his children... And now he knew at last which of his children... It was that had loved him best and who was worthy of his love. So use what you learned from reading the story to respond to the following questions. Reread paragraph 11. Which statement about the story best shows the relationship between King Lear and Cordelia at this point? So let's go to paragraph 11. Lear, who loved Cordelia best, had wished her to make more extravagant professions of love than her sister's. Go, he said, be forever a stranger to my heart and me. He divided the kingdom between Ganeril and Regan and told them that he should only keep a hundred knights at arms and would live with his daughters by turns. So, which shows the relationship between King Lear and Cordelia in that paragraph? A, King Lear began to believe that Cordelia had outdone her sisters in undutiful conduct. B, King Lear saw that each of his daughters really had wanted to drive him away all along. C, King Lear sent Cordelia away because she did not give him a strong enough expression of her love. Or D, King Lear knew at last that each of his daughters had never really loved him.